Ajá. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Security, baby. Smooth and easy, just... Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty?
Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Yeah, hello. Well, serves me right for using a 9mm. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up, you'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? You got questions, I got answers. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs... You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one. But the chip sticks with me. It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer I've found. Must require special hardware. It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How else can I clue you in? Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them, and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. There was a time I would have agreed with you, but this, it's too big. It affects too many people. I can't get hung up on those details. Something else you wanted to know?
Get your drink. Best booze.
Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I look there! Oh, he wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neural computational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to. But hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you've finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over... I knew he was carrying a platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmission. 
Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact routes and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> I know that's not true, because you still have a head. <laughs> that's not funny. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad telling you this, but I kind of can't die. I mean, go ahead and destroy this Securitron. Get it out of your system. The problem is that a distributed image of my neural computational matrix is backed up to the network several times a day, or when I'm threatened. I can't help it. There's a little bit of me in every Securitron on the strip. So if this instance gets destroyed, I just download to a new one. If I could stop it from happening, I would. I mean, your vengeance is going to feel so incomplete. Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Sorry if that was getting boring. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. That's all I remember.
got this assignment. I was hoping there'd be more. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? I'm afraid those are the rules. If you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. They'll be handled. Pleasure speaking to you. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? <sighs> ain't nope. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. If they want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Yep, got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. My boy, Ted, he was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. That's between me and the wife, but let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. That's what they call themselves, the folk that run it. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. Hey. Humbly at your service. Welcome to the Ultralux. What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not but our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that, delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. 
And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. So as much as we'd all love for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Why, yes, I think so. If I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy. Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibal... Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was... But that's all changed now. We've... A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. I'm going to have a word with my... Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. I do, but what... I suppose it is a labor of... We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me. How may I be of service, sir? Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry... Of course, of course. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. I hope we can put... If you head back to the hotel room... No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. Ah, yes. I've heard that one, too. Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of... nutrition. Perhaps you can help me. I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. Yes, the wrong person. We scout... He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do, but no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed, and as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be. And I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. 
Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. I need a replacement, and I need the boy taken care of. The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. One can't very well make steak from gristle. With so little time, we'll have to go after our original choice, Carlisle St. Clair. He lives in a shack north of here. For freshness, we need him alive. If you could send him here or knock him out with this and drag him into the dumpster next to his house, we, we can do the rest. Not this one. Empty. I don't believe it's seen use since before the war. And what would the point be, really? Who would pick up his trash if he used it? But for our purposes, it should keep his body safe and hidden until my cohorts can recover it. Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if we could convince him this was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we wouldn't need the replacement. But you would need to deal with his father, Heck. Perhaps if you could smear some... No. Everyone he meets, he tells the same story. That his son disappeared from the casino, not from his room. He'll look guilty. Splendid, splendid. The boy... The Elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. You, what do you think you're doing? Hmm, yes. Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert, under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. 
gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends, or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive Prim executive suites. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. So if life's worries have weighed you My down, daddy sent you? God damn it, I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. And leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. My daddy's got a lot of enemies. It don't make no sense that the White Pants Society would kidnap me. He's here to do business with them. Well, you got a point. But if you don't know who it is, my daddy's gonna be awful mad he ain't got anyone to shoot over this. All right, let's get out of here. inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino. Take in the theater or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? Watch out.